Welcome again, everyone. If you did not piece um, two and two together from the last little clip of the last video, we're gonna be building another trailer here out of this here uh, flatbed. Uh, this here came off the International. This was on the Lodestar and I had it up for sale for a little while and um, didn't sell, so we're gonna use it. And basically, long story short, um, this axle here is our buddy Ethan's. It came off of his 97 F Super Duty. Um, it's a 10 lug axle and he wants to convert to an eight lug um, single wheel. So basically this axle is, I, has been laying around for um, a little bit and there's nothing wrong with it. It's basically a Dana, Dana 80 axle with bigger hubs and axle, you know, actual axles themselves. And I just need it to, uh, to be an axle to, to hold weight. And then I got to measuring um, the other day, measuring this flatbed and then I measured just out of curiosity I'm like I wonder if it's the same and it fits on here beautifully um, only I just got to modify it a little bit up here got to cut this little this cross member here just uh, just a tad so I can get it slightly farther forward so that we'll be centered up here on um, these two cross members but I've already got quite a bit of room I don't I don't know that I'm gonna ever put anything on here that heavy you know famous last words but uh, just get it centered up and then you know address that problem if if it arises but it fit on here beautifully um, I'm pretty sure that these here mounting pieces are cast or something like that so I'm not even gonna attempt to weld it I didn't I don't want to anyway but the problem is these upper two bolt holes here um, probably can't get them in because of the channel um, but I got two down here and then two on the underside that I know I can get in and then on the back side, the bracket isn't as tall, so I know that'll go in. But I could, which I was thinking about, maybe I could just um, cut a couple spacers to go in the bottom, which might be the move um, to bring this down a little bit. And it'll also help us here a tad. So I might, I might do that just to get this here, um, bring this down another half inch or so, so it'll line up right. But other than that, I'm going to, uh, take off some of this stuff um, probably eventually I'm gonna I'm not gonna take out the guts of the axle just because um, means I'll have to add more fluid into it so I'm just gonna leave the guts in it but I probably will cut the axles off and then just have um, caps and or just make some some caps to go on that uh, so that this isn't rotating or I don't know is there something that I could put on there maybe uh, an air compressor <laughs> it's an, it would only work when you're driving it but it is a uh, is an idea. Um, I'm not gonna use, probably not gonna use uh, worry about the shocks, and I'm probably not gonna worry about the sway bar for sure. Um, so just kind of lighten it up, and then it is a hydraulic axle. Therefore, um, I'm not gonna have brakes right away uh, unless I spend like a thousand bucks on a hydraulic over uh, electric actuator thing. So. I don't know, maybe I can find one used or something off of something else. Um, if you know of anything that might work to where I can convert, you know, electric over hydraulic, um, let me know. But that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, I, guess I'll, I guess I'll cut a couple pieces so I, can, so I can gap this here and then go ahead and mark some holes. I doubt I'm going to be able to get the mag drill on here um, just because of these gussets, but if I can mag drill some of them and then just drill out the rest of them so get to work here and uh yeah oh obviously it's going to be a gooseneck but i've got eight inch channel and the uprights are going to come up and they're going to go beyond actually a little bit from the um, top of where the neck's going to be so that way because i want to build a on the front here i want to build kind of like a valley where i can lay material above the neck and then on the back here um probably you know use a couple of these pockets and build another brace back here so that i can lay metal um you know i can lay full length pieces of uh steel um what have you on top so basically it's going to be a do-it-all trailer um if i need I've, I've actually got a little uh issue going on with my truck right now my work truck so i may need to use this for welding rig temporarily i don't know but um it should be a simple straightforward build I know I'm rambling at this point, but last thing I'll add is um, I picked up another truck recently and it's got a nice beefy bumper on it. So I'm probably just gonna cut that off of there and then weld onto our uprights here. 
and then it'll just be a matter of adding some lights and should be uh should be good to go so let's get to work So we're looking pretty good under here. Um, as you saw, I think I added in a cross member because there really is no, um, there's no way to keep this lower channel from moving. Uh, you know, this was a bed that sat on top of a frame. So this, there was no structure to this. So um, I want to put this one, same thing. I put that one right in the middle of the uh, hangers in the front and put this one in the middle back here. And then, uh, depending on what time it is, I'm gonna clean up first. And then, depending on what time it is, maybe we'll start cutting the neck and uh, getting that on. But that might be for a different day. We'll see.
Well, last evening we got this here all configured. We got all the thinking out of the way for the most part. Um, still got a few things to add to it. Gonna add some gussets up here. Definitely some gussets here. Um, I wanna, I wanna keep the little wooden headache rack that it had on it. Maybe rebuild it. Maybe we could salvage what's, what was there. But I'm gonna add some uh, bracing from the edges here up to somewhere up here on the neck just to give it some more stability. It's already pretty, pretty stable side to side. I know you probably can't tell, um, but yeah. That's gonna wrap up part one for this here trailer. Not a lot to do, we gotta add a bumper onto it. Um, I got a toolbox maybe we can add to it and just build a couple little knickknacks and then we'll call it, probably call it done for, for the most part. <clears throat> um, yeah, nothing too too detailed about it. Just simple, uh, simple work trailer and as we as time goes on, we may add some more stuff to it, may not, we'll see. Um, but anyhow, thanks for watching. See y'all in the next video.